the new ultimate movement guide in black ops 6 so as we all know with black ops 6 coming to warzone that means that in within a few months we are going to be getting black ops 6 omni movement in rebirth island so i know a lot of you guys are either one really worried about that because you guys feel like it might be too sweaty with all the movement mechanics that are going to be added into the game or you guys are like me and you guys are excited to take advantage of those movement mechanics whenever you guys get on regardless of why that may be that is actually why i'm here today to teach you guys all of the movement mechanics that you guys can use to combat or use against other players in black ops 6 in this ultimate movement guide so with all that being said i just want to give a quick shout out to my noti gang and i hope you guys do enjoy all right i want you guys to go ahead and head into the training course we're going to be loading into protocol and i want you guys to not only just watch this video but if possible follow along with me so you guys can learn actively while listening all right guys so let's go ahead and get right on into the movement guide so of course the first thing that i'm going to be teaching you guys is of course the basics with the new addition of omni movement not only does that mean that you guys can sprint but you guys can sprint in any 360 degree direction you guys can also slide in any direction as you guys can see right here whether it be sideways diagonal or backwards you guys can do the same thing for dolphin diving you guys can dolphin dive forward backwards left right and of course diagonally so that's obviously one of the most basic things about omni movement being added into the game right now so obviously i'm going to be teaching you guys the basics of what movement is going to look like in black ops 6 so obviously when you guys go to challenge a person let's say there's a person right here in this corner you guys are not going to want to slide out that is a wide child you guys only want to do that if they are running towards the corner to break their aim assist you guys are going to instead want to slide to cover and then slowly peek out or you guys can slide behind this little head glitch right here and then come up and approach the head glitch as you are frying them now if it's a little three piece let's say i go for a one let's go i go for a two and then one is coming towards me over here that's when you do the wide slide out here to start challenging them with a bunny hop you could also do a lot of crazy things like if i pick one off right here i can come and slide child pick another and then if another one comes out dolphin dive take out the last one that way and of course just like in warzone dolphin canceling is still in the game that means that if you dolphin dive towards a corner it will cancel it and you will not have to wait for a cooldown as you can see right there now let me tell you guys why the big reason i'm making this video is as you guys can see on the screen right here sore my shoe found out a new movement mechanic that keyboard and mouse players can use and i'm here to teach it to all the controller players so i thought when warzone drops we can be absolutely frying keyboard and mouse players with this exact same movement technique so what the movement technique is going to look like is it's going to look something like this I'm going to go ahead and do it again for you guys right here. So what I'm doing here is obviously I am going into an instant drop shot and then peeking a corner. This not only is allowing me to peek the corner quicker, but it's allowing me to actually dodge bullets from the enemy if they are pre-aiming that corner because I'm going into a full prone. If you guys go ahead and run and slide and hold the slide button, you guys actually go into a full drop shot. Meaning that if you guys go and challenge someone and you just keep holding a slide, you go right down into this laying prone position backwards. Now we're going to go ahead and build off of that so that, that way whenever we challenge someone, it's not just looking like this every single time but instead we're going to go ahead and run forward slide hold it down and as we go into a full prone you're going to turn around at the perfect moment and click backwards on your left stick you go ahead and combine that all together and it looks something like this all right so that's the first movement mechanic the next movement mechanic is going to be used to break an enemy's aim assist and camera by sliding into them so as we all know in warzone one of the most famous challenges is sliding into someone and then bunny hopping backwards or just rotating around someone to break their aim assist and then bunny hopping around them again but with all these new movement mechanics in black ops 6 we now have a new way to break an enemy's camera and aim assist which is going to be using the exact same feature that i just showed you guys so what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to go ahead and run forward hold down that slide to go into a full prone just like i taught you at this point your enemy is going to be right in front of you and you're going to be in a full prone you're going to go ahead and click on that left stick to get up again just as i taught you and as you go backwards once you build up enough momentum you guys have a choice you guys can either slide backwards and go into firing your weapon so something like this or you guys can go into a dolphin dive backwards so once you guys go ahead and chain that all together it's going to look something like this And if you guys ever get a point where you guys actually can dolphin dive or slide backwards or it's feeling really clunky, all you guys have to do is just slide backwards once and you guys are good to go again. It gets reset. Now, another thing I want to teach you guys is that if you guys actually go into a G slide, you guys get more speed and range in your slide, meaning that once you chain a bunch of things together, you guys can get some crazy movement techniques in this game. So when you chain these types of things together, here's an example of how it can look when you're peeking each corner and then going and challenging boom, 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 and then 
boom right into the corner dolphin dive back out but yeah you guys that is all the mechanics that we currently know about black ops 6 now keep in mind that this is only weekend two of the beta meaning that when the full game comes out the community is obviously going to dive deeper and figure out some more movement mechanics and exploits for us to use but right now this is unfortunately all that we got still some crazy movement mechanics though that make us harder to track which is exactly what we wanted but i got a crazy nuclear gameplay using the xm4 up next for you guys to prove my credibility if you guys did go on to enjoy this video make sure that you guys go down below and drop a like and a sub with the post notifications bell turned on and let me know your guys' opinion on omni movement and the movement techniques that i just taught you in today's video is it good bad or is it just getting too sweaty at this point and with all that being said i hope you guys do enjoy it dude the omni movement's you better than like force has been approved. i could have anticipated Take it takes a while to get used to it but once you do get used to it dude it's so good Go you literally Charlie, just got yep down. you gotta learn how to use it like right there i did not use it right i won't lie lock in all right i'll lock in for you i'll lock in i'll lock in hold on let me lock in i'm gonna go for a nuke right here losing b taking alpha we're losing charlie Young blood got one follower. I don't know. I got one follower, brother. What are you talking about? Say, young blood got one follower. I'm dead. Stay on task. They're taking C. We lost C. They got C. Who's under me? Securing C. Oh, I got popped the UAV. I gotta figure out how to get my chat on my second monitor chat. Right now I'm reading you guys off my phone. Just about you at least you young and so many motherfucking grandpas on here? True. Wait, like on YouTube Shorts? No way that there's like old people on YouTube Shorts, right? They're up to date if that's the case. Taking A. Haters, bro. No, no, no. B ball, he seems like he's pretty cool. I think Security he just came in here trolling. Dude, I gotta drop this freaking nuke. Where's everyone at though? I know that I'm kind of low key camping this, but I don't want to go into the trenches and then all of a sudden I go up against like five people all at once. Especially with an XM4. I kind of gotta keep my distance with an XM4. Let me go over here. I don't know where that boy was dolphin diving. Securing Alpha. Nice. Sorry, chat. I'm locking in right now. You guys told me you guys wanted to lock in, so we got to get a new first game of the stream. We control Zone C. Oh. No. No. No way. Don't tell me. Ramana relentless. Taking B. Well, unless I'm pretty sure it's 15 if I'm remembering right, chat. Losing Bravo. Dude, I don't. I, dude, what is that beeping? I'm so tired of that freaking beeping. It happens every single time that my freaking chopper gunner gets shot out. Securing A. We lost B. I'm live. We lost Charlie. Yeah, I know, but that's why I'm live. I won't have like any time. That is a nasty ass heady. Wait, I gotta get away from this guy. 
He's starting to catch on too quick. We're losing Alpha. Bravo zone secure. Your assault pack has been destroyed. Losing B. Zone Alpha captured. Losing Bravo. No nice. life signs detected. how many more for the nuke? Like that's how many more for the nuke? I gotta be on a brutal, right? Losing Yep, there's the nuke. Let's go, first game on, bro. On stream at least. The XM4 is mad. Mad is easy to use, I won't lie. It's literally a free nuke. Losing B. No, he knifes me, bro. We, lost B. we got the nuke, though. We can call it in at any time. I'm going to call it in at the end of the game. We're just going to keep on rocking right now, though. Yeah, the XM4 is broken. Oh. Charlie. Not let me get shot. Five kids. Securing Charlie. Oh, Losing Bravo. Uh, standing by. No, I couldn't ADS. I can't wait till I get my first new gun in the game. Dude, it feels so smooth, B ball. It's insane. Oh, bro. Taking C. Ready flight time fifty percent on my mark. Mark. Losing B. XM4 is deadly, dude. This this gun is broken. Thanks for the work. You and you. All right, I gotta get Losing closer because I can't just keep on head glitching on head glitching on head glitching. Green guy, dude, look at him. I just got stuck. One of your assault packs has been destroyed. I'm on the objective. Be locked down. No. Straight down. Dude, this XM4 is fucking cooking. I need to keep an eye on the score so that way I can call in. I don't want to miss calling in the nuke and then we end up losing. Locking down Charlie. Charlie, I'm dead. Bro, what was that? Did I just get stunned? Like. Bravo is ours. Tacom, requesting recon overhead. Yeah, oh God, Losing Bravo. Syntax thrown. I mean, that was just a dumb push. Have I tried the MP5? I haven't. I do need to try out the MP5. I need to get a gameplay with the Jackal now that I got it fully maxed out, and then I'll probably move on to the MP5. I want to go uh, gameplay by gameplay, so that way every single time that I use a gun. I'm going one by one, if that makes sense. So I'll probably get my Jackal gameplay and then go for the MP5. Max that out, get a gameplay with that. You're supposed to be the CIA's best. Act like it. What do you mean you're supposed to be the CIA's best? All right, bet. I'm calling this nuke then. Oh, I just realized you could walk while calling in the nuke. 
Dude, this is Treyarch's first year doing a nuke, and they freaking killed it. There it is. GG's. Nuke. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Nuke. They kind of killed us with the objectives, but it's all right. I got the nuke for our team, so we still won. Yeah.